Hey Vanity Babes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanity Galore here and I am back with another vlog. <sighs> thank y'all so much uh, for tuning in and thank you uh, for all my new subscribers. I am so glad that you decided to uh, join the Vanity Babe fam. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and go ahead and start this week's vlog. But this is going to be, it's kind of like a weekly vlog this week because I have a lot going on this week. Um, today is going to be kind of like a chill day, I'm going to be honest. Um, but tomorrow um, around the evening, it will pick up and get busy, but I will be vlogging here and there. Uh, what else? Thursday, um, I plan to celebrate my daughter's five-year birthday. She just turned five on Friday. So Thursday, we'll be going out to celebrate her birthday. Uh, and then that night, um, I'll be packing. I'm going to try to show y'all some of that, my packing and how I pack um, to go back home. Um, and then Friday, I will be... I won't be going exactly back home. I'll be going to another city outside of my home. Um, but yeah, I'll be traveling and whatnot for the holidays. As we so yeah, so it's going to be a busy week of party. Um, well, not really party, but mommy daughter day, packing, traveling, family, all that good stuff. So I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can for you all. And yeah, let me not ramble. Um, I'm just wanting to come on and start this week's vlog. I will talk to y'all a little bit later on. <laughs> back it is much later on in the day um i didn't do a whole lot today i washed clothes we kind of chilled around the house did a little little bit for work what else that was about it i did go get something to eat um but other than that i didn't do much today and there goes my child <laughs> But yeah, I um, didn't do much today. Like I said earlier, it was going to be kind of like a very blah day. So I didn't do a whole lot today. Um, but yeah, tomorrow will probably be a little bit more. I don't know. In the morning, I may not do a whole lot either, I'll be honest. Like tonight, I'm about to get her in the bed. Um, probably do a little quick workout myself because I need to work out very bad, very bad. Um, what else? Because I've been doing a lot of stress eating. I don't know why, but I have. I've been doing a lot of stress eating. Um, what else? And then go to bed because I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm a little blah. But anywho, I will talk to y'all probably tomorrow evening, most likely. Because again, I don't want it to be boring because I'm, I'm not doing a whole lot tomorrow. I will be packing though, so I might do like a little footage of that, like show that some of me packing. But yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But yeah, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back. Y'all, it is like a whole week, almost two weeks later since the last time I picked up a camera. 
I'm gonna try to walk y'all through the last like couple of weeks. No, well, last week and a half or so. I think the last time I picked up their camera to, um, was to record some footage. That footage was actually recorded on my DSLR, my um, Canon of me packing and never picked up the camera again until now, I think. I'm having to look. So much has happened in the last week and a half. And I'm gonna try to walk y'all through a lot of what happened while I get ready. Basically, let me just go ahead. I don't even wanna ramble. Basically, long story short, wait, if you see me looking down, I'm doing my makeup. So I'm gonna try to talk to y'all and do my makeup at the same time bear with me <laughs> but basically I noticed I'm gonna say Christmas was last Monday last Monday I want to say that Thursday going into Christmas I noticed my child had a slight cough and at first I was just like oh I hope she's not getting sick you know when you hear your children cough you try to be like, you know, real like, oh Lord, I hope they're not getting sick. Blase, blase, blase. You know, I hope <laughs> they're, they're, I hope she's not getting too sick. Well, she got sick, <laughs> basically. And at first, you know, I gave her some like medicine or whatnot. I didn't think it was anything like too severe, but child. That Friday, she woke up with like a fever. I, you know, again, I gave her some medicine and tried to make it through the day and like, okay, we need to, cause at first I was gonna leave to go home. I think I said this in a previous footage. I was gonna leave to go home that Friday, but I'm like looking at how my child was, was feeling and how she was acting. I said, uh, mm, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna try to do this while I'm talking to y'all. This is gonna be kind of hard, to be honest. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna try to just give her some medicine because I think I recorded that footage of me packing. So I said, well, so let me back up. That Thursday night, the last footage I recorded was of me packing. Um. And I noticed that night, because it was kind of later on in the night, I noticed I had a slight cough when I was packing and I wasn't feeling like the hottest. So it was late that night. So I decided to take some good old, what did I take? I took some NyQuil that night and I was like, well, maybe not take some NyQuil, NyQuil or knock it out. I felt a little bit better in the morning, but my child, Again, she was not feeling her best. I can tell her temperature had, you know, rose from the previous. I'm trying I'm trying to get makeup in my hair. From the previous day, she was feeling a whole lot warmer. I'm like, oh buddy. And I'm, you know, again, I still felt kind of, I felt better, but I felt kind of like weird at the same time. So I was like, Let's just both take some medicine. I'm gonna pop a Benadryl, take a little nap here, so, and then I'm get up. And, I'm we're just gonna get up and you know get on the road and go to Columbia, which where I, from where I stay, Columbia isn't that far from me. Um, it's like maybe an hour, hour forty five. So I was like, I'll just, you know, sleep sleep off, sleep it off, and hopefully we feel better when we woke up. Well, first it was hard to get to sleep. I don't know why, but it was hard to like actually fall asleep. Basically, we got up. I felt so weak. When I say I felt weak, my child was still laid out, not her usual self. She just did not look right. Not like her usual self. 
So I'm trying to do this while talking. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do my makeup while talking because right now, and I don't think we said <laughs> I'm trying to get us out. I'm going to get right now. We're trying to get out the house to go to the gaming place. Anywho, let me back up. <laughs> go back to the story because it's, it's gonna make sense of what we're about to do. So, um, oh, come on. So, what happened? Oh God, let me soundtrack. So that Friday, she was not feeling the best. I wasn't feeling the best after I woke up. I felt weak out of it, just not myself. So, after a while, I just kept falling asleep. My Ariana, she kept falling asleep. We all was just out of it. <laughs> we were not, we were not in our best state in this moment. So, I woke up and I was like, I ain't no way I'm going to be able to get on the road. Not like this. And drive all the way to Columbia feeling like this. I'm going to just have to tell my sister, you know, we'll see you tomorrow. Because <laughs> I was just, mm, I wasn't feeling it. So, did all that. Ended up going back to sleep. Me and my child was like literally sleep that whole Friday <laughs> um and it didn't dawn on me until one o'clock that Friday well probably in the Saturday night now it didn't dawn on me until like much later on why I was so sleepy because at one point at 1 30 that night in the middle of the night when I finally woke up again from being asleep I felt more energized. I felt alive. I felt like I could go run a mile. And then it hit me, Sicily. When you took that Benadryl, that NyQuil wasn't fully out your system. Because remember, I took the NyQuil, it was after 12 that Thursday night. And I took the Benadryl almost like when I woke up that morning. So I put two and two together and I said, wait a second. The Benadryl and the night they're both running through your system right now. That's why you are out of it and you feel dazed. Yeah, lesson learned. So if you hear noise in the background, that's my child. So I was a like, whole oh Lord. Why didn't I figure that out? Why, why, why was it I thinking? So anywho. Fast forward to that Saturday, I'm feeling a lot better. Ariana is doing, she's doing a lot better too. She she seems perk up and she's playing and she seems to be doing a whole lot better than she was to like, you know, that Friday and that Thursday night. So I'm thinking, okay, well, whatever is going on, it must be is starting to subside. Well, we get to Columbia, you know, again, she's, she's perked up. She did well on the, on the drive there. You know, I'm thinking everything is like, cool. Now this is that Saturday. That next day, that Sunday, I fed her, or no. Was it that? That it was that Sunday. It was the day before Christmas. I fed her in that evening. And I know she seemed kind of cranky. But I was just like, well, you know, she is kind of still on the sick side. But she's not, you know, she's alert. She's not, a, you know, bad as she was doing. So I'm thinking, well, maybe that's why she seems a little cranky. Um, And I noticed she was kind of laying around. You know, she would play some and then she would just kind of lay around. And then I fed her and it, I don't know, it was like something in me, just like that mommy intuition came. Yeah, you know, your, as a mom, you know your children. And it was something after I fed her, it was like something came over her. And she was just looking just dazed. Like, she was looking straight ahead. 
normally when I when after she eats, she perks up, she's playing, she's running around, she's like happy this day been what like who is this child? <laughs> so she perks up, she's not perking up. She just like and I'm just kind of mimicking what she was doing. She was just looking straight ahead, no facial expressions, none. And then she got on the couch again and she laid down. And literally, long story short, as that day progressed, she continued to just lose all energy. We drove to Sumter where my, that's my hometown. We drove there, she slept, she fell asleep in the car. She slept the whole time I was at my mama's house. She slept literally that whole time. And my mama, she came out to the car and she looked at her cause she, she was in the car. We didn't want to touch her. I left the windows wind down and I kept going back and, you know, back and forth out to the car to check on to make sure she was good. I mean, this is a small environment. So it's not like she was far away. Like she was literally like right there. Um, but anywho, I kept checking on her. I said, this is not her. Like, I don't know. I'm like, who? Anywho. So that, that Saturday, she we she woke up again, and she made a little noise when we got to the lights, cause you know, they had like a light, like showing. That later on, so we ended up going to that light show, and she perked up and she said a little something, and I can tell she was oh she's talking to the lights, you know she she loves the lights. Well, long story short. By the time we got back to Columbia, into the night, her health declined drastically. And y'all, I don't know. It was like, as again, I was struggling to fall asleep. I feel like this was a sign from God. Like God was like, Cicely, you can't sleep in this moment. There's something wrong with your child. Because I couldn't fall asleep that night. I couldn't stay asleep. Something just kept... I was having weird dreams. So it was like something was nagging me and I'm watching her. Literally, I could tell while she was asleep, she was breathing kind of funny. She just, she seemed so out of it and just, oh, it was just like a moment in time. I never, ever want to forget. I don't think I'll never forget that moment, those moments because I didn't recognize my child at all. Got up the next morning and I told my sister, this Christmas day now, got up the next morning and was like, we ain't gonna make, we, I, I gotta take her to the doctor. I said, something here ain't right. I said, she has been, she wouldn't eat at this point. Only thing she would intake was water. I said, something ain't right. Something, something ain't right. <laughs> we gonna have, we not going, we, we may not make it to the, the gathering. Cause we, are, we were having a Christmas gathering at my aunt's house. Um, that we have every year and I said we ain't gonna make it like are we gonna have to hold off like she got to be seen by a doctor so we went to the doctor on Christmas day we ended up at doctor's care it was like a two-hour wait she slept she was like out of it the whole time and uh, long story short she tested positive for the flu <sighs> my god But I was glad at this point that I knew that what it was. I'm glad it wasn't like COVID or anything of that nature, but she had the flu. And I'm like, okay, whew. She was, Dr. Gray was some medicine, um, you know, the off-brand, generic brand Tam of, of Tamiflu. And that, that medicine kicked in like fast. Like I can tell after like giving her like that first do dose, she started perking up a little bit more. Um, but I want to say at least by the third dosage of giving it to her, she was coming out. Of, oh, thank God. I mean, through prayer, I y'all, I cried. Christmas night, I cried. I held her hand. We prayed that she comes out of this. And God, thank you. Because by the time, because at this point, we're like getting ready to go back home. You know, my sister was going and, you know, and family was going back to, you know, where they're from. I'm getting her packed up and I noticed as we we're packing up the leaves, she's like, she's awake. She's moving around. She's awake and she's like active. 
and I'm like, okay, I can tell she's getting a lot better. And when we got back here to Greenville, she perked up even more. And basically, long story short, I feel like I didn't even have a Christmas. I just feel like I did not even have a Christmas or my child. There was no opening of presents. There was no dressing her up in a cute outfit. There was no me getting ready. It was just like Christmas was just depressing. And so now that leads me to right now in this moment, what we're doing is we're about, I'm about to take her to Frankie's um, to, to celebrate something. And I want to go take her like toy shopping to get her some toys. I'm going to dress her up. Hopefully yesterday, we tried it yesterday and she, another part of the story. I knew when she, when she started eating again, I can tell she was like super constipated. Um, cause she wasn't using the bed. She wasn't doing number two. And I was like, she's constant. She got to be constipation. And so yesterday as we're getting ready, the constipation, like she had a big bowel movement and she was not doing good. Like I can tell her stomach was who. So we're going to try this again today of getting out of the house and making it to Frankie's and doing all the things I have planned. <laughs> and I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Um, to Frankie's and try to make this really fun. But right now, as y'all see, I'm, I'm stopped doing my makeup to talk to y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready. And we're going to try to get out the door. I got to get her ready. And I'm going to try to head out the door. Sorry if that seems so long-winded. I didn't mean for that to seem long-winded. I'm going to try to edit that down probably as best as I can. <laughs> but anywho. But yeah, so... I just want to come on and explain to y'all what happened. Why this vlog may look really crazy. It may seem all over the place. Like it may not make sense. But I hope y'all stick around. Um, and understand why I didn't pick up the camera during that whole week and a half of being away. Yeah. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to stop talking. And I will talk to y'all probably when we get to Frankie's. Y'all, my makeup came out so good. I like the way it came out. I feel like the lighting is like really weird. Excuse my background. Let me not get too. But I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear. <sighs> my child is going off in the back. You can, as you can hear, she's doing a lot better. <laughs> but yeah. But my makeup came out so good. I think it should go that way. But it did. It came out so, so good. I think. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to wear, though. Because I feel like what I had on yesterday is now dirty. So, I can't wear that. So, I'm just kind of sitting here resting my back. For some reason, when I stand up too long, like, my lower back starts to hurt. But I also need to go to my job. I need to drop off something at my job before we head to um, Frankie's. And I want to go to the hair store because... I love my other wig, but I'm one of those people like, I don't, y'all, I get over like my hairstyles in like five minutes, <laughs> but I did wear that last wig forever. So, um, I wore that for, I've worn that wig for a little while. Um, but anywho, I want some bangs. I am just craving some bangs. I don't know why. So I'm thinking about going to the hair store later on to see if they have like a wig with like some bangs. I used to have this like wig that was like perfect bangs oh i love that wig but i cannot find that wig anywhere I, I anywho but let me not ramble i'm about to go ahead and get ariana ready once i get my mind together and we're gonna try to head on out <laughs> Your heart, sweetie. You gotta catch it before it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. 
Okay. Are you driving, Ari? Oh, Lord. We died? <laughs> at the different colors. They got orange, green, blue, yellow. Alrighty, y'all. It is much, much later. Um, I've gotten Ariana in the bath. She's um, in the bed. Um, they go back to school tomorrow, so she needs to go to, go to sleep because I can hear her playing, but she needs to be asleep because um, they go back to school tomorrow. So yeah, I'm coming on just to go ahead and close out this vlog. If you made it thus far, thank you so much. Um, and if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would definitely love for you all to join the Vanity Babe fam. Um, but yeah, um, I myself, I'm about to pick up the house, clean up a little bit, get myself ready for bed, take off my makeup, all that good jazz. So um, I'll probably have a glass of wine before I fully go to sleep, chill on the couch and watch TV a little bit. But yeah, um, thank you all so much for sticking around. There's more videos to come. Um, I'm about to record a hair video, probably two hair videos here in the next week or so. So stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to y'all in next week's vlog. Have a great day.